Hey guys, this is Humberto here. I'm gonna be doing the uh, unboxing. This oh uh, well, first of all, um, these are my announcements. I'll be probably doing them in separate parts, separate parts. So um, this first announcement, I got a new phone and a package of a case. I will be doing a review. Um, from now on, or well, sometimes when I'm doing unboxings and product reviews, I'm gonna probably do it right here. Because, um, this just looks like, looks like a normal desk and stuff, like, messy and everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically this is gonna be a kind of my station sometimes. Maybe, maybe sometimes, maybe I'll be, like, on my desk, maybe I'll be here most of the time. Or maybe I'll be my dad's desk, whatever. So, uh, yeah, uh, I had the Voyager, which, um, I think I removed the video. If not, I think I still have it on, uploaded. I don't think I do anymore. Uh, I had the Voyager, but I sold it, and I'm using some other phone right now. It's a Samsung one. It's pretty decent. It has a keyboard, at least, so I can use for texting. Um, so now I got a new phone, and I got a case with it already. I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing the case and the phone um, in separate videos. Uh, or I could just review the case right now, but yeah, I think I might do a separate video. Anyways, the new phone I got is... The G1. Uh, like, right when I saw this phone and used it once, like in um, T Mobile, I'm like, wow. I just w I just completely wanted this phone. Now, um, the reason why I got I didn't, I got the G1 instead of the G2 is because the G1 has the keyboard, obviously. So, that's why I got it. So, hold up. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm kind of a little bit sick, but I'm feeling way better than usual. Um, anyways, I got the G1, and here's the case right here. It came pretty quick, so I gave the eBay seller 5 out of 5. Like, wow. I ordered this like 3 days ago, and it came like that. So that was pretty quick. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's just get to the unboxing of this. Alright, so here's your box right here, you know. You, you get the picture of a phone. This is G1 T-Mobile with Google. Um, this is G1 on the side. And then it's just T-Mobile on the top and on the ba on the bottom. Oh, well, you can see a little G1 thing too. On the bottom, it's like the SKU numbers and everything. And on the side here, it says T-Mobile, which this part <laughs> slides out. All right. So uh, right here, it says what's included. By the way, I got this from eBay. So uh, yeah, it doesn't come with every single thing, but. Um, I got it at a decent price too, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So right here is this G1. So uh, yeah, let's just get to the good stuff. All right. So once you open the box, you get the G1 itself in front of you. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, right here is your standard manuals. Might as well just show it to you guys. Oh yeah, right here it says. Your internet one touch away. All right, so you got your get starting, get started, and having fun guide. Um, tips and tricks. Um, booklet. T-Mobile hotspot terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. Return policy. Limited warranty. Same thing in Spanish. And so, yeah. Let's get inside. It has like a foamy pad, kind of packaging for the phone. Anyway, it comes with headphones, brand new. Um, like I said, I got this from eBay, but it comes with most of the stuff. So here's the headphones, never been used, so that's great because I can use it as like um, my music for now. The USB sync cable. I thought it wasn't gonna come with this, but it did. So I'm glad. Hold up. <coughs> and you got the charger right here, which connects by this port. I thought it. Was Oh wait, yeah, it is a USB. It's a USB port. Wait, is this one too? This one's like a different port than this, so yeah. Um. Anyways, has the charger. And um, there's like a carrying bag in here too, but it didn't come with it. But it's all right. Let me just close up. All right. So uh, basically. What you have on the phone is the touchscreen. It came with the screen protector. I ordered new ones um, 
uh, like about yesterday, so it's gonna come later on soon. Here's your menu button, your call button, your home button, your I could say joystick <laughs> or robot, whatever it's called, back button and power on and, and call button. On the back here, you have the you have a little logo saying with Google. You can't really see it though. Here's the camera itself. There's a crack right there, and like I said, again, I got this from eBay, but that doesn't matter because the crack doesn't matter because it doesn't affect the camera in any way. On the top right here, you got um, this little thing right here that you can't really see right there. Like that's to, like take off the back, which I'll do in a little bit. On the bottom here, you get the USB port right here. Hold up. Here's the USB port. And you got your little microphone right here too. It's, a, it's like a small dot. And then when you open it up, there's like the keyboard in perfect condition. And right here, hold on. Right here is where you enter your SD card, which I already have one, a 4 gigabyte one. So this works with SDHC um, cards. Um, so I'm going to remove the back for you guys. Hold up. It was take some time because it has some tabs in it. There we go. It sounds like you broke it, but it, it isn't broken. So you got the camera right here. You got the battery. And this is where you put your, um, your, uh, SIM card. So, uh, just fits back together, clamps in. Alright, so now let's just turn on the phone. Alright, so here's the phone turned on, guys. When you turn when you turn it on, you get a little ding ding sound. Same thing when you have like new email with your Gmail account. Um, so, you just push the menu button to unlock. And, um, oops. and you already see that I already have some apps installed and everything. And some stuff already organized. That's the reason being is because I've already used it, kind of gotten used to it. But I'm already used to it since I used it from the, the T-Mobile store. So yeah. Um. Anyways, when you pull this up, or you could just push it, or you could just pull it up. Either way, it works fine. Um. You get your apps and your um stuff that comes with the phone. And when you push the menu button, you get a little menu that says. It says add, which is like an application to add on your desktop. Wallpaper, search, notifications, and settings. So, um, I just noticed, um, this is like to, to clear out anybody's mind saying how, how do you have apps with no SIM card. You do not, I repeat, you do not need a SIM card to get apps from the G1. It is directly from the Android market. It is not from T-Mobile. So, uh, that's a good thing. Um, right here you got your music and your settings, gallery, etc, etc, etc. Um, hold on. <coughs> um, the camera is pretty decent. I would say better than my G1, I mean better than my Voyager. It kind of seems the same. Let's just say that. But, um, you can use the browser by, um, Wi-Fi or if you have the SIM card already, 3G. But I'm using it by Wi-Fi. Um, hold on. <coughs> Man, I hate being sick. Anyways, uh, you just go to settings. And here's your menu for wireless controls, which is like the Wi-Fi. Call settings, sounds and displays, data synchronization, setting and security and location, applications, SD card and phone settings, date and time. Locale and text, search, accessibility, speech sentence, and about phone. About phone is like, you know, your battery and life and everything like that. Um, also, um, just to add a quick note, I will be reviewing some um, apps maybe. Um, might as well, because, you know, it's a G1 phone that has apps, so. Yeah, hey, what is this? Hold up. Oh, yeah, and you just hold this. Oh, hold on. You hold this and you pull it down for, like, some... Like for your notifications, email, and updates of it. I never knew there was an update. I'll update later. Um, so like here's your new email and everything. 
you know, I got spam in there too, so you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyways, right here, if you can see, if it will focus. Oh, come on. Right there. That icon um, tells you your um, signal, signal, um, signal level. Now, there's a bad part of this. Uh, when I go in the living room, it barely detects it. I mean, like, not barely, barely, but, like, sometimes it disconnects and all this kinds of stuff. And I'm in my room, sometimes it disconnects, but rarely, rarely. Like, it's, like, two to one bars, but then when I'm here, which is where the router's at, it's, like, perfect and two sometimes. 